When an officer's dog suddenly started barking loudly at the casket during his funeral, no one understood what was going on. The dog wouldn't stop for a second. He seemed to have gone mad. It was decided that the casket needed to be opened, despite the police chief advising against it. But it seemed the only way to calm the dog down was to open it. When they opened the casket and people saw what was inside, they screamed in horror. At Ethan Carter's funeral, members of his family were present, along with his colleagues. In addition, his service dog, Max, a friend and partner of the deceased officer, had been brought to the cemetery. The dog was just as grief-stricken as everyone else. Max and Ethan had met in 2017. When Carter joined the police force, he immediately requested to be assigned to the canine unit, as he had loved dogs since childhood. That's how the three-year-old Max became his partner. The dog had lost his previous partner in a shootout with criminals. Ethan was warned that after that incident, Max had never been able to work well with anyone else, but Carter was confident it would work out. At first, the interaction between the man and dog was quite cold, but that soon changed. It happened after Ethan and Max were assigned to search for a missing person. During the mission, the dog seemed to appreciate his partner's brave actions. After their shift ended, the dog curled up at Carter's feet and he smiled happily, realizing he had finally earned the dog's trust. Over the next year and a half, the two solved many crimes together. The mission to intercept a gang of robbers, unfortunately, turned out to be Ethan's last. There were too many gang members, and they were all armed. A shootout ensued, resulting in several police officers being shot. Carter couldn't be saved. He had lost too much blood. One of his partners had to be put into an induced coma due to his injuries, while the other officers were not as severely hurt. Max was also wounded, but recovered fairly quickly. The dog had now experienced the death of his partner for the second time. But let's return to the present. The police officers took their seats by Ethan's grave, allowing Max to lie at their feet. At first, everything was calm, except for the quiet sobs of Ethan's relatives. Suddenly, Max approached the casket, sniffed it thoroughly, and then began barking loudly, nonstop. The dog seemed to have gone completely mad. No one could even pull him away from the grave. The officers decided the casket needed to be opened, even though the police chief advised them not to because of the gunshot wounds on the deceased's face. At that point, no one suspected the horror that awaited them inside. So the casket lid was opened. Ethan's mother immediately started screaming that it wasn't her son. The other relatives began screaming too. Max, on the other hand, immediately calmed down. The police quickly stopped the funeral and went to the hospital to resolve the situation. They soon learned the truth. It turned out that on the night of the shootout with the gang, two wounded officers had been brought to the hospital. One of them had died from blood loss and the other was put into an induced coma. However, the injured officer's face was covered in bandages. Now, the doctors were forced to admit that due to the terrible chaos, they had mixed up the officer's bodies and declared Ethan dead when, in reality, it was one of his partners who had succumbed to his injuries. Carter, meanwhile, had undergone surgery and been put into a coma. The police had made a huge mistake in taking the doctors at their word and not conducting an identification. That night, no one had even questioned the medic's statements. Now the doctors could only offer numerous apologies to the officers' families. Ethan regained consciousness only a few weeks later. Soon after being discharged from the hospital, he was able to return to work. The man was deeply saddened by the loss of his partner, but at the same time, he felt fortunate for having survived. Ethan was immensely grateful to Max, who had managed to unravel this terrible situation in time. The officer and his faithful dog still worked together, trusting each other unconditionally. Uh, see you soon.